chapter, Luke chapter 9, and we're going to read starting with verse 49 in your hearing. Luke chapter 9, that's the New Testament. We've been dealing with the Old Testament the last month and since the beginning of the year, so now we're in the New Testament. I did this special for his uh, day, and uh, the Lord had special actually. This Amen. is the Lord's idea. Uh, St. Luke, yes. Matthew, Mark, Luke, just before you get to John. Yes, sir. Chapter 9. Amen. That's bad, I didn't even have it. Verses, start with verse 49 and 50. And here, this is a strange. I'm going to use this big word pericope, but it's, it's as strange as it is, it actually has everything to do with me and me at work. Amen. 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 49, 50, 50 verse of the ninth chapter of the gospel according to Luke. The, and it reads as follows. And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name. And we forbade him because he followeth not with us. Verse 50, and Jesus said unto him, forbid him not. For he that is not against us is for us. This is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. You may be seated in the hearing of God's holy and righteous word. Today we want to look at stop stopping men. Say what now? Ooh. Stop stopping me. Stop stopping me. Amen. 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 <laughs> Problems arise when we stop being. One of the problems that tends to arise when we stop being is the fact that, and Jesus understood this being that he was the creator of all things. But we see in the gospel according to John, the first chapter, that nothing that was made was made without him. Amen. So we understand that in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. We also recognize that in him was all the light that the world would ever need. And Jesus is that light. Yeah. And if you go over to the book of Colossians and believe what Paul had written yeah. concerning Jesus being the light is where we get the good hymn. Yeah. Jesus is the light of the world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Jesus created yeah. God. We know he's God because he said, I am the father of one in the 10th chapter according to John down there in verse 30. And then we also see in the night that he was about to be betrayed, he told the disciples, if you have seen me, you have also seen the Father, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. in heaven. How much longer would I need to be among you? Yeah. He told Philip and Thomas. So one of the things that we see is the fact that here, Jesus just got down from the Mount of Transfiguration. And when Jesus got down from y'all, know y'all, y'all probably those of y'all don't know what transfiguration. Let me tell you what it is: is when you see one image yeah. that actually looks like it's been translated uh -huh. into several. Yeah. And so there's several images coming out of one sight. Yeah. And so what you didn't have, for instance, Elijah that happened at a different time, yeah. because Elijah happened at the same time that Jesus was standing in the middle. And then we see that on the other side where Jesus was Moses. We see that Moses was happening at the same time that Elijah and Jesus was happening before Peter, James, and John, the inner circle of his disciples, which just by the way happened to be Jesus' first cousins. And so one of the, y'all know he's the first cousin because they were the sons of Zebedee, which was the husband of Salome, which by the way was the wife the wife of Sol the, the husband of Salome, which by the way was the sister of Mary, the G mother of Jesus. So they made him first cousins. So they lived, even though they were from Capernaum, in this situation, they were actually in 
the Mount of Olives getting set to head to Jerusalem, yeah, to yeah, the yeah. temple. Yeah. But what happened was, in this circumstance, uh -huh. what we see is that Jesus, yeah. as he was, as he came down from the mountain, you see, Peter wanted to build booths or tabernacles yeah. to commemorate the event of that transfiguration. Yeah. Right. But Jesus said, no, this not this is not what the only thing that you need to see. This is not the greatest revelation of what you are about to see. And I'm paraphrasing. Because one of the things that you're about to see hasn't happened yet. So then they went down into the temple. And as they went down into the temple, into the Solomon's porch or Solomon's portico, there was a boy who was throwing himself into the fire left and right because he had epileptic fits of a demon that was possessing him. And there were some disciples that were already there that could not cast out the demon. But we don't see necessarily what was going on here in the gospel according to Luke. We could see this in the gospel according to Mark. Because what happens is, is the fact that when we see here in the gospel according to Luke, they, they skipped a few parts that Mark did. Yeah. And the part that they skipped was the fact that they had started trying to go and ask, here's the father who's worried about his son. Now. Here's a father that was worried that the, 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 those disciples, those that call themselves your disciples, yeah. couldn't cast out no demons. Yeah. I wonder if they're frauds and I wonder if they folks that don't have really the power that you do. Maybe they don't even know who you really are. Maybe they're just impersonating some disciples. Like, and perhaps maybe, y'all don't mind if I use my imagination a little bit. Perhaps maybe if I just went a little while longer, I may be able to find somebody that can do a better job than they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here's the problem. The problem is, is the fact that those disciples, when they decided to get to Jesus, and Jesus basically told the demon to come out yeah. of him, they came and asked Jesus, Lord, why could we not cast the demon out? Yeah. And he said that that demon only could come by, out by fasting yeah. and prayer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And one of the problems with fasting and prayer, they didn't understand that that was not necessarily what Jesus, they knew what they knew fasting and prayer to be, was not something they thought they had a whole lot of time for. Yeah, yeah. And Jesus was letting them in on the fact, you got more time by the time I give myself on the cross. Y'all, they didn't know about the cross, but by the time I get myself on the cross, you don't have to go to one of Aaron's sons. And you don't have to go to one of the emissaries as a high priest. And you don't have to bring no grain offering. Or you don't have to bring no sheep offering. Yeah, yeah. Or no, you don't have to bring no lamb offering. Yeah, yeah. Or you don't have to bring no goats and fats of goats. Or no, you don't have to bring none of that in order to get a prayer from yeah. All you need is to humble yourself and to pray and to seek my face and to turn from your wicked ways and yeah. then you will hear from heaven and then you think God will hear your prayer and yeah. he will forgive you of your sin and he will heal yeah. your land not because of this form and fashion that yeah. you decided to do right. no because you came at him just as you was weary and wounded yeah. Yeah. and yeah. sad yeah. and then you found in him a resting place and yeah. He shall make you glad. Yeah. That's just the kind of God he right, is. Right. Because he's the kind of God that can do what no other man can yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But lest I hold y'all too long because I'm, I, 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 I can go off on a tangent. Right, right. Yeah. But then all of a sudden the disciples started arguing among themselves. Well, who's the greatest uh, yeah, among us? Yeah. Well... Then all of a sudden, here comes Salome, not here, yeah, yeah. but all, all, all the way over in the Gospel of Matthew. And yeah, yeah. We see Salome, the mother of Peter, James, and John, the sister of Mary, the aunt of Jesus. Yeah. 
He, she, she, he said, listen, when she said, listen, why don't you go ahead and give one of my boys one side? Yeah. And you can give my other boy the other side. Yeah. Your right hand side. Yeah, right, right. And Jesus said, that's not mine to give. Yeah, right. He said, I can, I, I can, you, you can want all you want to. Yeah. It's, you can want based on your preference. Yeah. But see, when I come, yeah. then basically the, those that are the least yeah. among you shall be called the greatest. Yeah. And those that are the greatest yeah. among you shall be yeah. the least the of you. The but the issue becomes, well, well, now all of a sudden, here comes, here comes Jesus. He said, to illustrate the point, he brought a child. There you go. Yeah. There you and when he brought a child... Yeah before him yeah, yeah. and sat him down yeah. and said, listen, you got to be like one of those. Yeah, right yeah, yeah. Like yeah. one of these children. Yeah, right, right. If you want to be a, have any parts yeah. of my kingdom yeah. because he that is the least is the greatest. Yeah. All right. And he that is the greatest is the least. And if you hurt any one of these, yeah. it'll be as a millstone tied about your neck. Yeah. So now, so, 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 so now here it is. He comes to our lesson today. Y'all probably said, when are you going to get to that part? Well, here's the lesson. Yeah. The lesson is, is the fact then all of a sudden, yeah. here comes John. Yeah. One of the sons of Zebedee, the brother of yeah. Peter and James. Yeah. 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 And here comes John saying, listen, we forbade a man who was casting demons out. Now here's the key. In your name. And when he was casting the demon out yeah. in your name, we, 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 because he ain't walk with him. Can I, can, I, can I just bring this home, y'all? Yeah, come on, y'all. Can I fix it like I want to fix yeah, it? Yeah, can yeah. I say it like I want yeah, to say it? Yeah. You see, he didn't hang with us. Uh -huh. He didn't hang in the same circles yes, that he, we hang in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't walk with us. Yeah. In the same, can I say it like you? Can I put it in modern day? Yeah. y'all, he didn't work at the same company yeah. I worked at. Yeah, yeah. He didn't hang around the same social and savings club that I tended to hang out at. He didn't hang at the same lodge I, that I hung out at. Yeah. He didn't do some of the same things that I used to yeah. do. Yeah. He didn't go to the same club that yeah. I used to go to. Yeah. He didn't go and drive the same kind of car. That I drive and he ain't the same kind of look of crooks that I may be in. Yeah. He ain't the same kind of guy that I am. He don't have the same kind of sensibilities that I have. And he don't have the same kind. Of, he doesn't even wear the same kind of clothes that I wear. He wears he wears the ass and I wear the Jordan. successful enough to get the attention yeah. of the disciples. Yeah, because what we know here is the fact that here he is casting out demons when, when Jesus came down from the Mount of Transfiguration yeah. and couldn't cast out the one demon that they had in a boy who had epileptic fits. Yeah. And they couldn't do what they he was doing, yeah. what they could do. But maybe the reason why that they could not actually cast out the demons is because their fasting and prayer did not include the name of Jesus. Yeah. How many of us know that at the name of Jesus? 
Jesus, every knee shall bow in things in the earth, in things under the earth, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. And if we recognize that Jesus is Lord, you can not only tell the demons to behave, you can make your enemies your footstool. Because Jesus is sovereign. Yeah. Jesus yeah. is the one. Yeah. Jesus yeah. is the only one. Yeah. And because he is the only one, yeah. then you know yeah. that Jesus, Jesus is the light. Oh, there is a songwriter yeah. that says Jesus, Jesus is the light. Yeah. Yeah. Walk in yeah. the light. The light. Yeah. Beautiful blue yeah. drops yeah. of mercy right, right, right. shines bright. We will shine yeah. all around us yeah. by day yeah. and by night. Yeah. Right. Jesus, right. the light right. of the world. All right. But then, right. but then, but then, right. but then, but then, yeah. but then, but then, but then here. They probably were a little perplexed. Yeah. Because it seems like he came at it the roundabout way. Yeah, right. I'm gonna talk about the man that they forbade. Yeah. They they stopped the man yeah, right. from working. Yeah. Y'all don't stop a man right. from working. Right. Yeah. Because Jesus told the men that were around him, yeah. he have to work. While it is yet day, for when the night comes, no man can work. Oh, he basically let to know that working means that you have to be a husband in the vineyard, understanding that as the husband is in the vineyard, that you are a part of the true vine. And he is the true vine. While we are the branches and apart from him, we can do nothing. Yeah, nothing. So Jesus in his omniscience yeah. knew this man, really knew his name. Yeah. Really, when I say knew his name, yeah. knew the power yeah. of his name. And can I ask us this question? How many of us, <coughs> pardon me, when we're stopping somebody from working, do we understand the nature of their work? When we actually stop yeah. someone from going out into the laborer's yard, yeah. do we know what the nature of the work is? Yeah. Paul says something very interesting. Yeah. He says, listen, Say that, he told those that were in the church of Corinth, and as he let those that were in the church of Corinth understand and yeah. know, he said, listen, when you work, yeah. you got to work because you have to know that your labor is not in vain. Yeah. That means that you have to understand the nature yeah. of the work that's going on. Right, well, right. When one is a, a soldier for Christ, yeah. when one is a child of God, yeah. Well, then what does that work entail? That work entails lifting the blood-stained banner yeah. of Jesus. That work entails being able to tell a dying world of one who can save anybody and one that can let anybody in on what it is to fellowship with him. And when you understand what it is the fellowship with God and you understand the nature of the work you know how to call on him for things that seem to be impossible how come you have the understanding of being able to call on him because you have inside of you when you are a child of God you have the indwelling Holy Spirit that's called in Greek the Hagios Numa if you want to understand what that entails, let me tell you what the songwriter says. The songwriter says, what a fellowship, what a joy divine when we're leaning on his ever 
everlasting arms. What a blessing. Yes. What a peace right. is mine when we're leaning on his everlasting arm. Here's what you know to do because you can call on his name for yourself. Right. You don't need one of Aaron's boys. You don't need a Levite. You don't need a high priest. You don't need a Kohen. All you need to do is lean on Jesus. I am leaning on Jesus. Yeah. And here's what you know. You know the nature of the work. I am safe and secure from all of laws. But I am leaning on Jesus. I am leaning on Jesus. I am leaning on his everlasting on. You don't stop no man from doing no work. Especially if they're doing work in the name of Jesus. And my last thing. Yeah, we can get ready to go, y'all. I had to look at the clock. I'm glad, I'm glad they put the clock right there. Yeah. So I can see myself and how long I'd be holding y'all. Right, right. Amen. The last thing, friends, in understanding that we do not stop the work of a man Amen. Amen. is the fact that once a man gains steam, yeah. the steam that he gains yeah. is beneficial yeah. for the entirety of who he surrounds himself. The point being is a man doesn't just gain steam just to gain steam. Yeah. If y'all ever worked for, or y'all ever seen this, working for the railroad, my great-grandfather used to work for Norfolk Southern. Yeah. And back in those days when he was working for Norfolk Southern, he had the transition between coal fire and diesel. And the interesting thing is, is that Daddy Mac is what we call him. His name was McKinley Burnett. McKinley Burnett. McKinley Taylor. And McKinley Taylor, my great grandfather, used to tell me stories all the time about what it was to be a brakeman yeah. with either a coal fire engine or a diesel engine. Yeah. He said coal fire engine didn't have as much power. Took a lot more coal yeah. to generate more steam yeah. to get that boiler hot enough yeah. to be able to get yourself to where you need to go, especially up them hills. Yeah. And the higher the hill, the more coal you had to start shoving inside the boiler. Yeah. But then he said the advent of those wonderful diesel engines yeah. carried with it not only some pluses because you had more power and you can get up the hill faster yeah. with less effort from manpower. Yeah. But the other thing was, was the fact that it also took a while to slow it down. Yeah. And it took a while to slow it down because most of the time they overloaded yeah. those engines yeah. with a whole lot of cars yeah. because they could transport more cars more efficiently. Yeah. In the cold fire here. Y'all probably saying, well, Reverend, what does that got to do with the price of tea in China in this scripture right here? Friends, it takes a while yes, when sir. you when a man builds up steam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It takes a while to actually get him back up to speed yeah, if yeah, you yeah. slow him down. Yeah, 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 if you slow a man down, yeah. here's what Tim has a tendency to happen. What has a tendency to happen, all the momentum that you built all of a sudden has a chance. If you don't go fast enough up that hill, yeah. you'll go back. And when you find yourself going backwards, yeah. here's the problem. The problem is, is the fact that you find yourself in a circumstance where you start wishing that we could just left that man alone yeah. and just let him go up the hill yeah. as fast as he needed to go yeah. up that hill in the first place. I don't think y'all hear me today. Y'all yeah. y'all, y'all don't hear me. Because yeah. see, if y'all heard me, there's a shouting moment here. There's nothing better than seeing a man at work. Yeah. And there's nothing better than seeing a man can gain some momentum. Yeah. And the momentum of all the, the stuff he had around him, and yeah. despite all the circumstances he had surrounding him, all the hills and mountains that he had to climb and all the other things that seemed like it was going against him. He had to go against the grave and he would just built 
just enough momentum to be able to get to the top of the hill. And when he got to the top of the hill, guess what happened? He knew that it would be just a little while longer before that momentum allowed him to go down yeah. that hill. And whatever he was towing behind him was going down that hill with him. I don't think y'all hear me today. When you do what the Lord tells you to do, he will give you power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wonder-working in the precious blood of the Lamb. And when God gives you that momentum, yes, yes. when God gives you that ability, right. when God gives you that strength, right. when God gives you the understanding yes. that they that wait on the Lord yes. shall renew yes. their strength. Yes. They shall mount up with wings as yes. eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk right. and not faint because a man yes, is at work. Yes. He has been given the momentum by the power and the grace and the mercy of God. And friends, here's what we find out. We find out, I'm, I'm just to show y'all I was real. I'm closing my Bible. Because here's the problem. Yes. The problem with us is that many times we want to have our hands yeah, yeah, as a part yeah. of the process that's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And friends, the charge that's given for a man to work yeah. is not the same yeah. as the charge yeah. that's given for the house right. to work. Right. Because if you understand that, yes, sir. here's what a man has to do yeah. with the work that he has to do. Jesus, through Paul, uh -huh. had told the church at Ephesus something that is very interesting. Yeah. He told them in the sixth chapter of the book of Ephesians, uh -huh. in the tenth verse, to be strong in the Lord yeah. and in the power of his might. Yeah. The might that he was talking about was that we know who he's talking about and who he was talking to. Because we also see what is said in the sixth chapter of the book of Ephesians. Uh -huh. When he said, listen, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church yeah. and gave himself for it. And friends, we understand that there are particular ways that men are ordained before the foundations of the earth to work. Yeah then we have to know that the charge to men uh -huh. is not the same charge to the entire house. Right, right. And so when we recognize that, uh -huh. then don't stop a man from working. No, no, no. Especially if he's operating yeah. with the name and will of God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my friends, that is the same man yeah. that's going to pull all yeah. those boxcars yeah. that up that hill. Yeah, uh huh when he's gained some steam yeah. or when he's got that enough fuel yeah. in his tanks yeah. right. and he can go ahead and get to the top of that crest yeah. to the top of that hill yeah. and so he can let the rest he can let gravity do the rest yes, sir. Yes, sir. because we have to recognize that what was in the tank wasn't what he put there yeah. it's what God placed yeah. there right. 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 <coughs> it's what God ordained yeah. there yeah. It's with God. And by the way, the word ordained is the root word of the word ordained is the word order. And we have to recognize that order yeah. is what God does. Amen. That's why he does things decently yes, and in order. Amen. Right. And when he does things decently in uh -huh. order, recognize that he is not the author uh -huh. of confusion. No, it says in that same six chapter. Right. So one of the, uh, uh, first Corinthians. So one of the things that we have to recognize, friends, is God. He cares 
so much about his family. Amen, amen. He placed me in yes, to go sir. to work. Yes. He placed me in to be at work. Amen. And so don't forbid, forbid them not, a man who is working in the name of Jesus. Amen. For they which are for us is not against us. Amen. Amen. Friends, God cares yes, about you. Amen. He cares so much about your lives. And he cares so much about your lives that he looked beyond our thoughts and saw straight to our very and friends, when we find the difference between, and we talked about this this morning, and when we find that there is a difference between want yeah. and need, yeah. and we understand that there is a difference between a journey and a trip, yes, sir. and then we find out that there is a difference, friends, between there being something, and we find out here in today's verse, there's a difference between work yes, sir. and labor. Yes, right. And when we understand that we are operating against what God desires for yes. his men, and we we stop them working the work, yes, and we are in labor. Yes. But when we find out that a man, once he's got that steam, and that steam is given to him by the auspices of God, then that labor goes from labor to work and that work 